Phoenix stumbled upon a winged creature, easily mistaken for a fairy. However, its true identity would soon be revealed. So, as Phoenix freed the small creature imprisoned on the isle, she let out a cry. Which meant, great hero, I am but a piece of Nike, the goddess of victory. Please free the others, so I may return to my full glory. They won't win without Nike. She's like a glove or a, a thing you wear that protects you while running. A helmet. Bro, this game real life hit, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, like, the the music, the open world, the, the views in this game, bro, like, everything, bro, they did their thing with this game. This is a beautiful game, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really that much of a gamer no more. I used to be a big gamer, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie. I used to play a lot of games and stuff. Nowadays, uh, I don't really play the game that much. But, you know, this, this is, like, one game I can actually just get on and really just feel, like, good about getting what the flip bro where am i supposed to go oh i guess over here yeah i don't think i need to come all the way up here so. ah the valley of eternal spring its highlights include a massive tree that reaches up to the heavens the hall of the gods eros's palace Oh, I'm glad he finally got his happy ending. And a palace belonging to the goddess of beauty herself. Of course Aphrodite would claim the prime real estate with the best view. As long as she's safe from prying eyes, I'm happy. From such great heights, a fluttering of birds Feeding from the most beautiful apple tree caught Phoenix's eye. Phoenix was about as high as I was when I thought marrying Aphrodite off to Hephaestus would stop the other gods from fighting over her. Yes, that view from Mount Olympus is something else. I haven't seen it in years. You're not getting that high again, so stop asking. I'm not gonna lie, this game just keeps getting better and better. Realistically. Come back whenever you're hungry now, you hear? And be sure to tell all your fellow creatures that I am here to serve them. Fresh apples available now. <laughs> and then, oh, if I could move, I'd deliver. Same day guarantee. I wasn't expecting to hear a talking apple tree, but I'm not gonna lie, bro. I mean, this game got so much. This game got so much going on, bro. That I'm not even surprised, bro. A talking apple tree really isn't even surprising for this game. This is probably the best game I played in a long time. Just as far as like open world games, bro. Like, I, and I ain't gonna lie, I played Elden Ring too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Elden Ring was beautiful, but that shit was just so hard, bro. I had to quit. <laughs> I, bro, I ain't gonna. <laughs> Bro, I ain't have enough. Bro, I ain't have enough time in my day to figure that shit out, bro. But I ain't gonna lie. I think, bro. I think I'm gonna stick this game out, bro. I'm gonna stick this game out and make sure that I. Um. All right, hold on, bro. Let me let me talk to the apple tree real quick. You wouldn't happen to be Aphrodite? Why? Yes, I am. Pleasure to humbly make your acquaintance. Phoenix! Uh, sorry, I'm just such a fan. You're responsible for some of the most epic love stories of all time. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting a tree, but even in your, uh, arboreal state, you're beautiful. Hey, hey, real quick, I just want to point this out, you know what I'm saying? Phoenix, hey, she she, she really know what she's doing, bro. She got it. She, she's smooth with the words, you know what I'm saying? She real life smooth with the words, bro. These days reflects the happy smiles of the creatures I help. Oh, if only I could travel to those most in need. But, alas, my roots keep me anchored here. So that's why Typhon did this to you. So you can't use your beauty to move ships or inspire bravery in battle against him. Me? Start a war? I don't know where you get such outlandish ideas. True beauty is found in acts of service. True love is the giving of yourself to others. The name Aphrodite should have stood for those things all along. She did not just say that. I 
am reformed now. My own essence locked away in a vault wedged under my largest root, <laughs> which is for the best. Maybe I could get that essence back for you. I'm going to need allies to go up against Typhon. We have the hungry to think about. You said you need to free yourself from your roots. To feed the hungry, of course. Well, my roots were as a pretty bad farmer, so I know how to hurt plants. Salt. It shrivels them up. Oh, would that work? But of course, my roots are not ordinary. They're primal, powerful. So we'll need, a uh, mythical salt water? Oh, oh, this is in the prophecy. A pearl in rough seas. You were a pearl born from rough seas. The salty sea foam from your birth. Yes, what an inspired proposal. But I couldn't possibly trouble a stranger to recreate the conditions of my birth. What if a stranger asked to be troubled? If a stranger asked to be troubled, then I suppose I wouldn't really be troubling them at all. Here's how to conjure Sifum from my birthplace. I already know all about this. Mom loved this story. Tram puppy Uranus threw a pearl into the sea. The sea churned into foam, and Aphrodite rose up out of it. A pearl? Grandpappy? I'm not sure that's how it- That's definitely the story. Okay. I'm sure that's how it went, uh, down. Got it. Knock a pearl into the ocean really hard. That sounds simple enough. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. I'll be serving fresh apples to the less fortunate across the Golden Isle in no time. Well, this is weirder than the time Demeter turned that kid into a lizard. Aphrodite, sweet and charitable. No more mischief? Isn't that what you were aiming for when you married her off to Hephaestus against her will? Hey now, it wasn't. I mean, she knew I was doing it for her own good. Hey, my bad if I'm not talking that much, y'all. I'm, I'm like really just enjoying this story right now, bro. I'm enjoying this story, enjoying the scenes. This really just like, it's it's like a vibe, bro. I mean, I, it's really not too much talking that I need to do right now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shoot, I just, I just, it just crafted some potions. I didn't even know what I was doing, bro. Uranus locked all the Cyclopes away with the other Titans, huh? Yes, he was afraid they'd overthrow him. There was a prophecy. Bored. Grandpappy made the right call. Those things are an eyesore. <laughs> Get it? Uh, the birth of Aphrodite is a gruesome tale. Nothing gruesome about it. Grandpappy Uranus and my deadbeat dad, Kronos, had a battle so great it severed heaven from Earth. That's not all that was severed. During his surprise attack, Kronos descended on Uranus. When Earth was severed from heaven, there was a great earthquake that knocked a pearl loose from its oyster. Hang on, there was no... Ah! The pearl flew from its oyster on land, and Uranus caught it and flung it out to sea with such a force that it caused the frothy foam to bubble. Okay, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 I'm low-key looking, I'm low-key looking nice right now, I can't lie. I'm low-key looking, I'm low-key looking nice, I'm low-key looking nice.
Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Alright, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! Come on, bruh! Dang, I see that man flying. Oh my god, dang. I see god dang. I really see him flying. <laughs> Unlike the mortal flesh, which had been frozen into marble, the pomegranate sprung forth defiantly, bursting with life. A lot of poetry for something that just got a stick in their mouth. Isn't that what the best poetry is about? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm starting to get better at fighting, bro. I'm really starting to get better at fighting and dodging and stuff. I just need to start, like... I need to start parrying more, and I need to start, like, using this more. Like, I be I be doing that to dodge all the attacks, bro. I need to I need to hit some of these sometimes, too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Once I incorporate that into my game, no, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Muffler is not getting up with me, bro. I'm already looking tough right now, bro. It's so crazy. Yep, uh-huh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on, we real life making progress. Oh, yeah, I think we here now. I think we real life here now. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro, my fighting skills, bro, everything is getting, bro, everything gets so much better, bro. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get nice at this game. I'm getting a little tough right now, bro, I'm not gonna lie. And the game's starting to get crazy, bro. The story looking tough. I thought it was gonna be like a, a cutscene or something. Tough, it ain't even do anything, so. Oh, this what it was. From the sea foam. Aphrodite rose, full grown, beautiful as that same pearl. I can't take this anymore. Zeus, Gaia lied to you about how Aphrodite was born. Oh yeah? Then tell me how it really happened. And Kronos, they fought. You can't be serious. And I should believe that you don't worry this one. And fell into the sea. That's... Because Kronos cut off his... <gasps> You're sick, Prometheus! Do not talk to me! With the sea foam secure... Ah! Phoenix resolved to return to Aphrodite with the key to her freedom and the vault. Ah, this reminds me of Bacchus and Philomene's home! I miss the screams. Why do I feel like the story is going to end with an entire village getting destroyed? Not an entire village. Hermes and I disguised ourselves as peasants and went knocking door to door, asking for shelter. Only Bacchus and Philomene let us in. Sit back, Prometheus. It's my turn to tell the story. You've returned, you sweet creature. <gasps> Do you have the sea foam? Right here. Oh, aren't you good? Please, take my blessing for all your hard work. Now quick, pour the foam on my roots. The sooner I can move, the sooner I can expand my apple care. Did it work? Coming out of the foam, I was so <gasps> fabulous. No, there's too many cuddly creatures that need my help. It keeps me awake at night, just seeing their little beaks and bright eyes. And those noses, those quivering wet noses. <gasps> Loki 
work me. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> he worked me. He worked me. He worked me. He worked me. But hey, it won't happen again. I ain't gonna lie. I really won't even on my A game for real, for real. I, I, come on, bro. Run it back. 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 I want. I want all that smoke. I want all that smoke this time. I want all that smoke this time. A few moments later. Bro, like I can't even. Bro, I can't even parry this dude, bro. I be trying to parry him, and, and he break through my parry, and then hit me, bro. This dude low key OP, bro. This dude low key OP. Who is Bounty, and what can you expect from his channel? Bounty is a free-spirited individual, steadfast chasing his dream through every hardship and challenge he faces in the way of his final destination. You can expect to see epic gaming videos infused with unrivaled comedy like all of these videos right here. Insightful, professionally made anime recommendation and review videos like all of these. Comedic, high energy reaction videos. And from time to time, even explorative vlogs and IRL videos such as these. So click that subscribe button to become a part of the journey with Bounty. I shall hope to see you again in another video. Good friend. Until next time.